have a liaison to the Union County Utilities Authority, which is uh, you, Chairman Hudak, and I'd like to give you a report on what's going on there. I'll give the people at home a little background. Uh, the former Freeholder Sullivan is now the Executive Director of the Utilities Authority and the Improvement Authority. And despite his being given a raise for taking on extra responsibilities, he took it upon himself to also write himself authority checks uh, of $2,500 per month, $2,500 a month. Uh, other employees were also uh, given uh, stipends for taking on uh, extra responsibilities, but uh, he was the executive director, and he got the most, $15,000. Um, it was brought to the attention of the Utilities Authority by myself as the Union County Watchdog Association. I, I look at their check registry um, and I questioned what these stipends were. And lo and behold, uh, I didn't get a response that night, but um, they did lawyer up after that. And according to documents received since then, statements made by them, they had no idea that these stipend payments were being made. So the Union County Watchdog Association brought this to their attention, and to their credit, they did stop the stipends and they did investigate. It cost about uh, upwards of eighty thousand dollars of tax dollars uh, to hire attorneys to investigate, which was pretty much laid out for them. I pretty much handed them the entire thing. That I don't know why they had to go to such extremes, or I don't know why they just didn't ask the Union County Prosecutor's Office to investigate. They would have done it for free. But uh, instead, they went ahead and spent about 80000 on uh, outside counsel to deal with that, including lawyering up uh, Sullivan in order for him to... <laughs> it's incredible. I have so many friends that work in corporate, and I tell them these stories, and they like, you're like, they like, you're kidding me. You're making this up. Like, I can't imagine working for ABC company. I'm writing myself company checks, and they come and question me, and they say, oh, but we're going we're gonna to pay for your lawyer so you can answer our questions. We're going to do that for you. And then uh, as it wound up, uh, it was paid back. The, the, the uh, lawyers did find that there was uh, something going on that was wrong there. And they ordered Sullivan and the controller to pay back. The other uh, employees didn't have to pay it back. Unfortunately, they didn't pay it back until this week. And uh, the timing of it was another citizen had placed an OPA request for proof that the monies were paid back. And the answer to his OPA request came back with two checks, one signed by Sullivan for $15,000, and it was dated after the OPRA request. So it certainly looks like it took a citizen to question the payments in order for the payments to be made. So um, I don't think you're really closely paying attention to the workings of the Utilities Authority. I mean, their own board wasn't paying attention. So that's the update here. Those monies were paid back. So uh, Sullivan did write a check for $15,000 to pay back uh, those stipends. 